You know, what if buying something online, maybe right from a conversation with an AI, was as simple and secure as just tapping your card in a store? Well, that's the big promise of what's being called agentic commerce, where AI assistants don't just find things for you, they actually do things for you. Today, we're going to look under the hood of a new open source standard designed to make that a reality for everyone, the Universal Commerce Protocol, or UCP. All right, here's our game plan. We're going to start with the basics. What exactly is UCP and what problem is it trying to solve? Then, we'll walk through a step-by-step -step example to see how it works in the real world. We'll also take a look at how a huge player like Google is already putting it to use. And finally, we'll talk about how this open project is inviting you and everyone to help build the future of commerce. Let's dive in. So first up, what is this universal commerce protocol? Well, at its heart, it's really the foundational plumbing for a brand new way of shopping online, this new era of agentic commerce. Think of UCP as an open source rulebook, or maybe even a universal translator. It's a common language that lets all the different players in an online purchase, you know, the AI agent you're talking to, the store you're buying from, and the payment service, all communicate with each other smoothly and, most importantly, securely. And this is really key. UCP isn't just for one group. It's designed to help the entire ecosystem. For businesses, it lets them show off their products while staying in control as the official seller, the merchant of record. For AI platforms, it makes adding new merchants way, way simpler. Developers get this great open standard to build the next cool thing. And for us, as consumers, it just means a super smooth and secure way to shop from the brands we already love and trust. So, you might be asking, why do we even need something new? Well, the problem is that our current e-commerce plumbing just wasn't built for this new world. It wasn't designed for the kind of conversational, AI-driven shopping that we're all starting to expect. And here it is. This is the core of the problem. It's called the N by N integration bottleneck. Just imagine every single business on the left having to build a completely separate custom connection for every single AI platform on the right. It's a total mess. It's slow, it's expensive, and it just grinds innovation to a halt. UCP comes in and breaks that bottleneck with four big ideas. First, unified integration. That means a business builds one connection and it just works everywhere. Second, a shared language, so everyone is speaking the same dialect of commerce. It's also built to be extensible, so it can grow and adapt as technology changes. And finally, a security-first approach is baked in from the very beginning. And this diagram just pulls it all together so nicely. On the left, you've got the consumer surfaces. That could be an AI chat in search or another app. On the right, you have the business backends, the store's actual inventory and payment systems. UCP is that powerful translator in the middle. It's the standardized layer that lets them speak the same language using a shared set of capabilities like checkout, discounts, and finding products. Okay, so that's the big picture. But now let's get down to brass tacks and make this a little more concrete. We're going to do a practical walkthrough to see exactly how the protocol works in action with a sample business and an AI agent. We're going to follow this super simple five-step journey. It's going to show us precisely how an AI shopping agent and, let's say, a flower shop server talk to each other using UCP, from that very first connection all the way to applying a discount code. All right, first things first. A developer over at our flower shop sets up their server. They load it up with all their products, roses, tulips, the whole shebang. And then they switch it on, so it's live and ready to listen for any requests that might come in from an AI agent. Okay, so this brings up a really important question. When an AI agent connects to that flower shop server, how on earth does it know what the shop can actually do? You know, can it handle a checkout? Can it apply a discount? It can't just guess, right? The answer is actually pretty elegant. It's a standard file that acts like a digital menu of services. The business just lists its capabilities. And you can see in this little code snippet, it's advertising that it supports things like checkout and discount. The agent reads this file and boom, it instantly knows exactly what actions are possible. So now the agent knows a checkout is possible and the user has decided they want to buy some roses. The agent sends a formal request to the server to kick off the checkout process for that specific item. The flower shop server server gets that request and it responds by creating a unique checkout session just for this transaction. It confirms all the details and sends back the price, in this case, $35. The purchase is officially in motion. But the conversation doesn't have to end there. Let's say the user remembers they have a promo code. 
The agent, using that discount capability it discovered a moment ago, can send another request to that very same checkout session, but this time to apply the code 10 off. And just like that, the server gets the code, checks that it's valid, and sends back an updated total. The price drops down to $31.50. This is a dynamic, real-time conversation happening between two completely different systems, all made possible because they're speaking the same shared language of UCP. Now that technical example is great, but this isn't just some concept on a whiteboard. Let's take a look at how Google is already using UCP to power real-world conversational shopping experiences as we speak. To really get the ball rolling and show everyone else how it can be done, Google has built the first major reference implementation of UCP. It's already the engine behind new experiences that lets you buy stuff directly from businesses right inside of conversational products like AI mode and search and Gemini. So you could ask your AI assistant something just like this. And instead of just getting a boring list of links to click on, the AI can actually guide you through the options and, thanks to UCP, let you buy a suitcase from a store right there in the chat without ever leaving. So if you're a business owner and this sounds interesting, the path to get involved with Google's program is pretty clear. It all starts with having an active Merchant Center account, making sure your products are set up for this kind of direct checkout, and then just following the integration guides to get everything connected. And this all brings us to our final, and honestly, probably the most important part of this whole story. UCP is all about building the future of commerce, together. It's so important to understand that this isn't some proprietary technology locked away in a vault. UCP was actually co-developed with over 20 different partners from all across the industry. It's a true open source project, and its future is going to be shaped by its community. So the big takeaway here is that this is really an open invitation. It doesn't matter if you're a developer, a business, or a platform architect, you can get involved. You can go explore the GitHub repository, you can jump into the discussions, you can even contribute code directly. The goal is for everyone to collectively build this new, conversational future for how we shop. So the final question really isn't if shopping is going to change, it's who's going to help build the standard that powers it all.